The Stratus Lab project aims to provide a complete open source cloud distribution for e-infrastructures in Europe. The project is co-funded by the European Commission. We've just released our first release uh, at the beginning of November. It can, is a preview release. It has basic functionality. It's built around Open Nebula, contains a web monitor, a command line interface for users and system administrators, and allows both manual and automated installation. The cloud that we're using during this tutorial has a front end and three back end nodes that allow uh, machine instances to be run. The system administrator controls the system directly through the front end. The user accesses the cloud remotely via a set of command line scripts. The installation methods, as I said, were both manual installation and an automated uh, installation via Quator. This installation was done via Quator. The user tutorial uh, consists of three different parts. The first is the installation setup, which has already been done on this machine. It just requires Python and SSH to be available from the machine. The appliance repository is a set of images which we use to, uh, to uh, launch virtual machines. There's three different types that we supply at the moment, TTY Linux, uh, CentOS, and Ubuntu. Eventually, we'll have more complicated images that provide things like grid services. You can also see metadata information for each one of the images through the web interface. Now we're going to look at the machine lifecycle. Uh, to do this, you actually need a username and password for the cloud that you're going to be using. We're going to start up a virtual machine, uh, log into that machine, and then kill that machine. To do that, we need to set up various environmental variables that give you the SSH key we're going to use, the username, password, and the endpoint for the cloud. And also, we create an environmental variable with the URL for the image that we're going to launch, which is the TTY Linux image. Now, we're actually going to start uh, some images. The command to do that is stratus run instance. And the only difference from the online tutorial is that we're going to actually start eight different instances all at the same time. So we're doing that now, and you can see those images being launched. You can see also in the web monitor on the lower left that those images are there, and they're starting to be uh, deployed on the cloud infrastructure. You can do the same from the command line interface. So now we're interacting with the machine. We're going to see what uh, machines are available. Stratus describe instance is the command to do that. With no options, it gives you the full list of all the machines running. With a particular instance, 88 in this case, we can see what uh, the information for one particular machine. It's already running, as you can see from the status. So we're going to ping the machine just to make sure it's accessible. And it is indeed accessible. Now we're actually going to log into the machine as root. So now we're actually logged into the TTY Linux, which is running on that, uh, on that cloud. You can see the local uh, files. You can see the disks there. The interesting thing is the CD-ROM disk, which is attached, contains information that we've pushed into the image. Context.sh, for instance, contains the SSH key that we use to, uh, to log into the machine. Now what we want to do is actually terminate the machine. There's two ways to do that. You can either shut it down like a normal machine from within. So we do a normal shutdown dash H to halt the machine. We've been kicked out of the machine. And now if we do again a Stratus describe instance just to list what's there, uh, we see the status. It takes a little bit for the system to realize that the machine is shut down. Now you can see in the web monitor that it's uh, now in an unknown state. It's been shut down. You can see the same thing from the command line interface. If we look at just the individual uh, machine, it's in an unknown state, but we want to kill it to uh, make it inactive. If we do that and list it again, it disappears from the standard list. And we can also use the Stratus kill instance to kill running machines from the outside. And here we are using it to actually kill all the rest of the running instances. Now all the remaining instances have been killed. They disappear from the web monitor. And if we list them from the command line interface, you see also that they've disappeared as well. The remaining parts of the tutorial, we don't go through in, in this video. But there's information on how to create base images. And there's also support provided by the project. There's a frequently asked questions page and a mailing list where you can uh, ask questions and people from the project will respond. Thank you for watching the uh, Stratus Lab video.